My name is Jeremiah Greymane, and I have no mercy for the weak. I don't know what hole you crawled out of, but where I'm from, we don't have queens, and bows do not beat guns, you bitch. Come here, oh fucking hell! Now, I don't know why they call you the betrayer, my friend, but if you betray any one of my friends, I will take you to town. And I'll tell you another thing about my town is that it is not big enough for the two of us. So you can run, but get back here! Oh, son of a bitch. You think you're slick, huh? But I own your walls! <laughs> now, the true sign of a marksman is confidence. And I am the most confident marksman you will come across, James. And if you think that you're getting away from this one, I got a message for your bald friend and your big breasted son of a bitch. If you think you're getting away, you are mistaken. And this piece of shit queen comes back here, and I'll tell you what. This sword, as a matter of fact, is not just for show, bitch. I am just showing game footage. This is a 2v2 outplay. Uh, this is game footage. Enjoy the game footage. Now the thing about being mocked for the kill is that if you think you are getting away, the reality is you are not. The following is a public service announcement to anyone who thinks that it is a good idea to pick a fight while three levels down, because you will lose, as a matter of fact. We realize once again that one player cannot carry in the Heroes of the Storm, forgetting that is pretty much one of the main things that sets Heroes of the Storm apart from every other you MOBA. Can't carry. Yes, you can't 1v5 carry. Can't carry. You can't carry. You can't carry. Son, let me tell you why that's bullshit. It seems that she wants to try and get some push off, but it'd be a damn shame if she died again. Now I'm just trying to farm in lane, and now I'm goddamn out of there, you son of a bitch. Now there are many simple necessities in life, like spoons and knives and forks, but fighting four levels down is not necessarily something you want to do, and in many cases, in many different metaphors, you can say that he has dug his own grave. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like we got ourselves quite the fight here, but the problem with being quite the fight is that I'm a one-man army, and I got a present for you. fire! And now this half-woman, half-deer-looking ass motherfucker comes out of nowhere and start- Oh god, he might- wait, oh Jesus, come, come on, come on. <laughs> so I may be relatively new around these parts, but I do believe that they refer to this as the Wombo Combo. Now once this living embodiment of a vagina goes down, they all turn into plants. Makes a lot of sense, I guess. As my good friend James Rayner once said, light them up, man. School is now in session, and today, my friends, we are going to be learning about positioning. Now, there are many times that positioning can change a fight, but today specifically, we are going to learn what happens when you stand on the wrong end of a lead spin 9mm blunderbuss. You sons of bitches! And that is how you win the video game. <laughs> you sons of bitches.